Hey, everybody. <laughs> Y'all know how I don't love going live. Um, but I'm in one of my favorite spots up on the mountain, the Thunderbird area. And I just needed a prayer and praise break. Can anyone else need that sometimes? Hi. Just showing you my view of the sunset up by Thunderbird Mountain. So thankful for people that are going to watch later that joined us for the launch of Hillsong Glendale yesterday. Absolutely amazing and breathtaking and fantastic. So thankful. Hi, Adam. Welcome. Thanks for praying. I was just saying how we had our launch yesterday at Hillsong Glendale, and it was just exceeded all of our expectations as God usually does. And uh, so I'm just taking another prayer and praise hike, watching the sunset. And I feel like I have a message in my heart that I wanted to share specifically um, for everyone. <laughs> specifically for everyone and that is the message of don't forget to take Jesus to work with you. I received news on Saturday evening from a former co-worker of mine that uh, a friend of ours had uh, been in a tragic accident and had passed away kind of over where my camera is pointing right now in the Verado area and um and it's been tough on a lot of a lot of us, you know. Um, life is but a vapor for those of us who know Jesus, and we're told not to get too attached to this world and to our lives here in it, but to make best use of our time while we're here and live in such a way that brings God glory, right? But the message I want to share with people that are going to watch later is: don't forget to take Jesus to work with you. Um, Amy was a former co-worker of mine, and uh, I boldly declared my faith in Jesus, and it enabled her to confide in me about some really heavy stuff that she had going on in her life several months ago. And um, one time she was sharing with me <laughs> some financial hardship that she was going through. We're in real estate, for those that don't really know me very well, so we're in real estate. I'm a transaction coordinator. She was a realtor. And she was kind of sharing with me about her uh, her business and uh, telling me some personal stuff about her life and her finances. And I just didn't know what else to do. And I asked her if it would be okay if I prayed. And for those of you that know me, I'm like a crazy, bold, audacious prayer warrior. And I just went in for it and started praying and believing that God would just come in and bring immediate relief to her financial situation and that he would just draw near to her and allow her to to feel his closeness and how much he adores her and uh, just that miraculous provision would happen and I was just going for it I mean I was just like full out praying right and as I'm praying she's on the phone and she says she gasps and she says Heather you're never going to believe this she said I just now got a text message notification from one of our, our real estate systems that informed her that an offer had come through on one of her listings for a full price offer she then went to tell me that this particular home has been on the market for a very long time it was actually overpriced so she was not expecting to get a full price offer on that home and that happened while I was praying and it brought her to tears I mean, she just began rejoicing and declaring God's goodness, and she truly felt the immediate provision of God for her that day. And it was such an honor to, to be that marketplace minister with her in that moment. Um, so I just want to encourage all of us that when we go to work, don't leave Jesus at the door. Bring him with you. You never know who your coworkers are, what they're going through, what they're up against, and how you just allowing Jesus to reflect through you and being a light in that space, being the salt and light like we're commanded, will offer us the beautiful ability to be able to minister to those that are entrusted to us in our sphere of influence. And that's in your marketplace, that's in your school, that's in your neighborhood, that's in your mom group, that's in wherever you are, whatever you're doing. If you've chosen Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you've been called into that ministry. And so I just encourage you, I empower you today to just take this story that I'm giving you as encouragement to, to use that in your own life if you're not already. Amy, my friend that passed away, 
And another story I wanted to share was I got a text message from her late at night several months ago, and she said, Heather, is there any way that you can come into the office and pray over our team after our team meeting? I said, yeah, Amy, what's going on? Is everything all right? And she's like, yeah, I just know that we need some prayers. We need some prayers of unity. We need to just refocus and and have a come to Jesus meeting, like she said, but she really meant that. And she want, she texts me, I have so many texts that I reflect back on of her telling me that she had a deep responsibility to, um, to lead her team well. And so I came in that next day and sat through their team meeting. And at the end, I just, again, allowed God to speak through me. And instead of just praying blanketly, you know, or corporately over the entire team, I was actually able to minister to each of those people in that room individually and prophetically, you know, call out their greatness and call them up into who they're created to be and what what God has said that they're capable of. And so, again, this message is (laughs) to all those that are watching and will watch later, don't leave Jesus at home. Take him to work with you, girls and guys, guys, friends, girls, sisters, brothers, (laughs) whatever I'm saying. (laughs) Take Jesus to work with you. Be a minister in your marketplace. In my case, I'm so honored to have been able to be that for Amy. And I'm so honored that um, a lot of our previous coworkers have called upon me in these last couple of days as they're processing her passing and um, have asked me to be a part of her candlelight vigil that'll be held on Thursday. So for those of you that are part of the Keller Williams family in Goodyear um, or that new Amy Susumi, Um, I'll have more details out to you guys soon, so feel free to to message me, and I will provide for you the information that I know. But for the rest of us, let's make a commitment to be the salt and the light, to bring Jesus to work with us, and just to be loved, to be loved, and to be loved. Hope y'all have a great night. See you later.